100 metres mystery medley. Of course, the Australian contingent, we have Samantha Riley. This is a news flash from National 9 News. Welcome to this special National 9 News update and the news out of Paris on the condition of Princess Diana is not good. She is now officially reported as dead. According to reports out of Paris, and uh, we will bring you a briefing in just a moment, Princess Diana died around 4am French time, Paris time, about one hour ago. Sydney, Australia time, Eastern Standard Time. Newsweek's Bureau Chief Christopher Dickey was at a briefing with doctors at the hospital to which Princess Diana was taken after that fatal car accident. Here is his report. Uh, Diana is dead. She died at four o'clock this morning. She was in very serious condition when she was pulled out of the car. Uh, her friend Dodi, Dodi Fayed was dead in the car, dead on the scene, so was the driver. She was pulled out. She was brought to this hospital. They worked very hard to bring her back. Uh, but she suffered from at least one heart attack, a massive injury to her lung, uh, and in the end they were unable to revive her. She died. Diana, Princess of Wales, died this morning at 4 o'clock Paris time. And we're joined now by Daniel Blyde in London. Daniel, uh, uh, official reports coming in now, it would, it would appear from other sources. That's correct. The, uh, the French Foreign Interior Ministry, Jean-Pierre Chavamont, uh, has made a statement uh, that Princess Diana is dead. Uh, he, he says, in the name of the French government, I express my great sorrow and pain. Uh, I offer the condolences of the French people to the royal family. Uh, and just a short time ago, the Foreign Secretary of Britain, Robin Cook, who is in M Manila at the moment, uh, at the Manila, Manila airport, he was due to leave there, he has confirmed also that uh, the Princess of Wales has died. Um, his, in his words, I am greatly shocked by this news. Our first thoughts must be with her children and family at this time of immense loss to them. So uh, it, it, it uh, certainly does uh, now appear to be uh, confirmed the Princess of Wales uh, has died in this accident. Daniel, still no word on the whereabouts of her sons, William and Harry? They're in hospital and we were given to believe um, from reports of, of what he had to say that uh, Diana had a fractured arm, a concussion and cuts to her legs. Uh, but as we said earlier, the, the facts in this story seem to have changed you know, minute by minute. And uh, I think the alarm bells began to ring when uh, the British Foreign Secretary, Robin Cook, who, as I say, is in Manila and was due to return to London, he delayed his flight to make what he said was an important announcement about Diana's health. And it's been since then that the speculation has been growing. And of course, now we have confirmation. Uh, I think now, um, uh, of course, it's, it, it's just such a tremendous tragedy for, for, for Britain. Um, uh, for paparazzi photographers who were on motorbikes, uh, allegedly uh, hounding uh, Diana and Dodie at the time, their film has been confiscated. They are being questioned by French police, but certainly no talk of any arrests. The mood here in London, predictably, extremely sombre. Kensington Palace, people are being paying tributes there. And just confirming officially that Princess Diana is dead. We have official reports now out of Paris and it would appear also out of London that the Princess of Wales died at around 1pm Eastern Australian time, around 4am Paris time, around three and a half hours after the dreadful accident that it would appear killed her boyfriend Dodi Al-Fayed instantly, as well as the driver of their car. There is no word on another man, the condition of the other man in the car who was reported to have been taken to hospital. We will bring you further details as they come to hand and of course full details in National 9 News at 6 o'clock tonight.